this is how you know that all they want to do is pander to a specific group without actually putting any effort or creativity into I'm a bird, mother I'm a bird. dragon age bell guard gets censored woke developers removed spiders from game to avoid triggering the first thought that both me and zen had was um what's next will they completely remove men because you know triggered is that the reason why they removed boobs and ass because it's too triggering i feel like they're just projecting their insecurities onto games i i think so too i i really do feel like they're making this game for like their group of friends of you know five people particular story caught my caught my interest and it caught my interest for a, a couple of reasons and to be honest with you I'm really tired of this stuff, right? I'm tired of this whole, like, we need to make everything accessible kind of nonsense because it starts to get to the point where it's a little bit ridiculous and then it starts begging the question, where does it end, right? Because I don't think it ends, right? And that's kind of the whole point. I don't think it ends. It, it's going to keep going and going and going until eventually we get to the point where the game is going to play itself and nothing is going to show on screen because we don't want to trigger anybody. We don't want to showcase anything. And it's going to become highly censored, which, I mean, a lot of games are already as it is. Look at all the remakes that are coming out that are censored from back in the day. We got an article here that says good news for arachnophobes. Dragon Age Devil Guard won't have any spiders. Is he trying to trigger them? <laughs> yes. This is like foolproof how to make sure they don't watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I think arachnophobia is like the most common phobia. It is. But getting to a point where you, you know, proclaim beating your chest or proudly say, this is going to be the first Dragon Age game that doesn't have spiders in dungeons and you're proud of it bro come on they're like the the most common enemy archetypes in any fantasy setting it, it's just i i feel like it's just you know, it's stupid it is really stupid Now, if you guys have played any Dragon Age games, I'm sure you guys will realize that spiders have been an enemy in the game for the longest time. You know, it's it's something that I don't understand anybody who plays a video game and is unable to play it because of arachnophobia. If you really have that bad of a phobia, you probably should work that out with your therapist. Yeah. Because this is pretty freaking ridiculous, right? They're not. I, I actually have to agree with Hypnotic on this one. If your arachnophobia is that bad that it it will literally will make you not play a video game that is something you need to seek professional help for because you will have crippling anxiety your whole life then because common spiders like the house spiders they will happen to be there once in a while so this is not something you should be projecting onto a game if it's that bad not real spiders they're fake they're they're virtual and you're freaking out as if they're gonna jump on you at any point anyway so the game has completely decided to skip the arachnophobia mode like most video games have at this point uh sadly and they decided to go one step further and just completely remove all spiders whatsoever like no spiders are going to be in dragon age the guard so let's get into this article guys from the gamer but of course before we do if you are new here just consider hitting couldn't they have done the same thing as the anime did, the romance killer anime, where instead of a cockroach, it was a piece of strawberry cake? They could have had like a censorship toggle where it's also something so ridiculous. Yeah, that would be pretty funny. And people would have applauded them for it. All the decisions they're making, it seems to go against what the common gamer actually wants. This is how you know that all they want to do is pander to a specific group without actually putting any effort or creativity into. 
hit that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it, and like the video to push us out into that youtube algorithm yes you heard me right there will be no spiders in dragon age and i'm sure some of you guys are saying well what's the big deal who cares it's not about that guys think about this for a second every single dragon age game has always featured spiders and they're trying to say well the veil is being guarded by the veil guard so clearly no spiders are gonna are you serious right now this is what we're really going with we're trying to lore explain why there's no arachnophobia mode because there's no spiders that's what we're trying to do now anyway we got some key takeaways dragon age the veil guard won't feature spiders and thus won't have an arachnophobia mode this is the first time this uh, series won't feature giant spiders uh Gilanian will likely cook up even more horrifying creatures than the familiar giant spider dragon age the veil guard won't feature any spiders a blessing for those who suffer from arachnophobia and also those who want more interesting rpg enemies you know i understand wanting it's more stupid. supposed interesting enemies yeah. i'm all for that but there why do I have a feeling that the more interesting enemies will be completely bland and boring and completely lack any imagination? There is a reason why certain enemies are kind of a staple in a series. And when you're talking about old school RPGs like Dragon Age has been around for a long time, the spider is kind of like a, a typical enemy that you would expect to see, especially when you're going in like a cave or something like that. Like, If I don't see a spider, I'm going to start questioning things. It's going to be a little bit weird to me, right? Like if you play any MMORPG, how many quests have you gotten to go kill a spider, right? At this point, it's just so odd to not have a spider in an RPG. And it just seems like an obvious decision to leave something out that has been a staple of the series for the longest time yep. all because you don't want to trigger people who are scared of spiders so at this point now we're removing we're removing uh, uh features and characters and creatures from a video game simply because we don't want to offend other people who may or may not play it I, I don't even know, man. Giant spiders have been a staple enemy of Dragon Age since Origins, where they were heavily used as a generic beast enemy you had to wipe out to advance through a cave. Why were there giant spiders all over Ferelden and the Deep Roads? Because the veil is thin, you dummy. Obviously, the veil guard has <laughs> Damn, successfully guarded bro. the veil, consequently eliminated this threat from Thetis. In all seriousness, this information comes courtesy of Bioware Associate Community Manager Violet, who revealed Dragon Age the Veil Guard doesn't need an arachnophobia mode because there are no spiders. In response to a question on the topic, Bioware's latest blog post detailed the Okay, I'm sorry, but if that's the number one question you ask when there's a panel about a game, if there's an arachnophobia mode, your priorities are fucking weird. The accessibility options available in Dragon Age the Veil Guard. Now, guys... I'm telling you, man, I, 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 I don't even it goes down to the conversation about like difficulty and whatnot. Right. Because if you remember, accessibility was a thing that they were trying to push for a while uh, over the last couple of months. They really were going hard on it because it, it became like the new oppression thing. Right. Where, you know, being trans wasn't enough. Being gay wasn't enough. Having accessibility options and being a disabled gamer, that was a new oppression. And that was the thing that everybody wanted to talk about. And they did it for a little while, but then they kind of gave it up because it was boring for them, I guess. But still, this whole accessibility conversation, I understand that it's it, it's it inherently a good thing right you want you want stuff to be accessible to as many players as possible because from a business standpoint that increases your sales opportunities right the more accessibility you have the more chances that you're going to get sales now here's the problem with that accessibility modes when they start to become extreme when they start to actually you know take over the actual game and it doesn't become an option and it just becomes an actual feature of the game that's an issue right that when that is when it becomes a you don't even argue with his statements i genuinely have to agree there's a way of making it tastefully or in a funny way and there's a way of making it lazy and stupid and this is the latter I still think that arachnophobia does not trigger over games, in my opinion. I feel like it's there's no way. No, like for example, I I get a slight jump scare when I play um, games and there's spider, but it won't get to a point where I'm like, oh lord, I cannot play this. They have spider. Oh no. But even then, you could have made such a funny joke with this. You could have made such a smart marketing choice with something like this and made something so ridiculous like you know a cake instead of a cockroach but yet they keep on making the decisions that are just stupid and also keep in mind this is them removing spiders 
not to trigger people's arachnophobia in a game which they are saying that it is for trans people where they think putting post operation scars as a representation when a lot of trans people don't want to see those scars this is them saying that this is how inclusive they are when they're doing the fucking opposite a problem where now it's not accessibility now you're censoring the video game to adhere to your particular beliefs or the beliefs of someone who may or may not play the game when i was definitely going to play the game and now i may not because you're choosing to censor the game all because of someone who's very sensitive it's just it's a very weird thing and again i'm not talking specifically about dragon age i'm just speaking out in the open about all games when you start censoring because you don't want to trigger people you're going to lose people who were not triggered by whatever you're censoring and hopefully for for you that means that the people who are triggered are going to buy it more than the people you are going to lose who are going to be mad that you censored it but we can usually know that that's not the case right most of the time the people who are mad that you censored it is a greater number than the people who were going to buy it because you censored it then it says that uh, arachnophobia modes are becoming more common in games that use spiders as enemies like grounded and star wars jedi survivor the arachnophobia mode in grounded turns spiders into squishy spheres but they still make terrifying snarling noises dulling their cuteness factor a bit here's a personal it's anecdote funny, i used though. to get my younger brother to play through the spidey bits of dragon age origins and i'm not even a full-blown arachnophobe you're a loser <laughs> like i really don't know what else to say other than that Oof. i feel like listen i i get i get it man some some phobias are absolutely real i totally get it and i'm sure some people have hardcore arachnophobia but if you really are that scared by virtual creatures right i can understand being scared by real spiders right nobody likes real spiders especially big motherfuckers right i feel bad for for you guys in Australia <laughs> with your fucking mutant spiders. Nobody likes no. spiders, right? To be fair, it's not even just in Australia. Have you guys seen, like, you, you have the, um, uh, those big-ass spiders in Colorado now? In the winter? You ready for that? Bro, I will piss myself. We're going to, we're going to Nevada. There's Hudson spiders there. Pray to God that I won't see one. I will not get out of the car. But yes, uh, the cat is out of the bag. I'm going for my first U.S. road trip at the end of next month. For our anniversary. I don't like roaches, right? Roaches are just nasty <laughs> as fuck to me. Every time I see a roach, very rarely. But every time I see one, I'm like, ah, I freak out, right? But that's real life, right? I'm not talking. I have played horror games. They got roaches on the fucking screen, and I don't even jump. I Wait, I thought Hypnotic lives in New York. Are aren't they, like used to roaches there i don't even slightly jump but if i see a roach in real life i'm swinging at that motherfucker right so at the end of the day Based. man i will never understand the weakness that these people push out there where they cannot play the video game that they're playing because they see something that they're scared of in real life showcased on the virtual screen if you cannot handle that do not play these games right these rpg games will have spiders this has been a staple for the longest time now they're taking it out for whatever reason it's fucking stupid then it says in the wide use of spiders in Dragon Age Origins was likely a technical decision as Bioware has only had so much time to create diverse enemies. They were utilized far less in Dragon Age 2 and Dragon Age Inquisition. Still, considering one of our primary antagonists is Gilanian, who is famed for creating horrific beasts, it's surprising we aren't going to see anything resembling an arachnid. I think it's a yeah. bad choice. Again, I think it's a really yeah. bad choice. As small as this may sound to some people, overall, when you're playing a dragon, think it's small at all if it's been there since the beginning and there's lore behind it i mean you gotta put them in there even if like it's just like a cutscene thing you gotta pay homage to the first three games that came before it it's you know it's not even just that i feel like in rpg games it's kind of by this point like a rite of passage like one of the first monsters you fight are spiders spiders skeletons goblins it's old with like rpg games it, it just it's a staple and it's a staple because it works dragon age game if you don't see a spider you're gonna be like uh what's going on where am i 
why don't I see a spider? Especially when you visit a cave. If you go into a cave in this game for the first time and you don't see a spider, but instead you see, I don't know, fucking Peter Dinklage, it's going to be very strange. What? You're going to be like, what is happening? Why is this happening? So I, I feel like we are seeing a trend, and this trend is going to start bleeding over into other games where they're going to specifically start removing things that are triggering for those who are too weak to handle it. And then people who are known for, or I should say, who are used to knowing these things in their games, when they don't see it, they're going to start raising an eyebrow, and they're going to start saying, what's happening? And then they're going to dive down this rabbit hole of, oh, yeah, we censored it because we didn't want to trigger people scared, uh, scared of spiders. So anyway, guys, thank you so much. Well, like I said, it explains why they removed the boobs and the butts. They don't want anyone being triggered. Remember when we had that mouse in our house? Uh-huh. I walked to the bathroom one time, and it was dark, and I turned on the lights, and the mouse squeaked. You think so? <laughs> No, no, it's it whipped that dick right. out. So. No, it literally That's, got scared. Got I got scared. scared. We just both <laughs> ran. The, the it, was, it was a Tom and Jerry moment. The mouse. Imagine the mouse wanted to see how big it is. Then switch on the light, and the mouse like, "Oh, you caught me!" 